Hello, I'm the Commander Xander. I remember it so the Descendants Critic doesn't have to. And neither should you. 1989. That was a great year. We had Batman. We had Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. But little did we realize that there would be another movie that most people probably didn't know existed until probably now if you're watching the review. Because Weird Al Yankovic, the great parody singer, and I do mean great, he is absolutely phenomenal, came up with his own movie. And it starred a bunch of other characters that you might remember. Oh, why do they always do this to me? Okay, for those who are unfamiliar, and for the most part, you are probably unfamiliar with this as I was, UHF was a 1989 comedy film that starred Weird Al Yankovic, David Bowie, and Fran Drescher. Yes, Fran Drescher from The Nanny. Why do they ever, when will they ever learn? So, this one combines some star-studded cast of characters. Which has you wondering, how could this possibly go wrong? Well, let's find out. This is UHF. Ready for the movie goes to MGM. And no, this is not for monetary purposes. This is strictly for review. As well as Orion Films. By the way, this is the first time I'm watching this too. So you're, you're going to get raw reaction. As we start our movie with... Oh, for crying out loud. Right off the bat. So this is where parody movies originated. It makes sense. Weird Al Yankovic is a genius with parody singing or parody songs. Why not do a parody movie? Because we're starting right off with Raiders of the Lost Ark. Let me guess. Yep. Weird Al Yankovic is playing Indiana Jones. The fucking afro gives it away. To their credit, at least they do a good job of exactly duplicating the scene. Well, kind of. Yeah, this will never happen. A whiplash decapitates an arm. Yeah, that's fucking possible. Just like anything else in this world, because anything's possible. Like the Blues winning the cup. I'm dead serious. They won the fucking cup. And the Twins are in first place. That's right, you heard me right. So if that can happen, this can happen. You know, it's amazing that eight years after this scene came to fruition that this looks exactly like it was never touched again until now. So, I bet you're wondering. Oh, great. Signs. Yeah, that's going to slow him down. Nothing can stop Indiana Yankovic. Severe tire da Really? Severe tire damage? What? You think he's going to come in in one of those Land Rovers? Clearly warning him to keep away from the precious antiquity. Which, oh, you've got to be kidding me. So instead of that, whatever figurine that is, it's a fucking Oscar award. Oh, I love it. He's like, fuck it, let's just grab it and go. No, as if he didn't already knew that. Ooh, that's got to hurt. Oh, brother. Let me guess. Let me guess. He gets through and... Oh, that's clever. I will give him that, except there's no way in hell that trophy could hold up that door. Okay, where's that falling boulder that we saw in the original Indiana Jones movie? Oh, ha ha. There it is. 
Oh, don't tell me. Let me guess. They cut out Indiana Jones and replaced him with Indiana Yankovic because this looks like the exact same rolling scene from the Indiana Jones movie. Minus the Indiana Jones. Let me guess. He gets squashed. Okay, maybe not. Yes, he does. Again, anything's possible. Wait. Okay, now we're getting a little too... Okay, now we're really exaggerating this. This is not the time to take a nap, weirdo. You're giving your mouth to get run over my boulder. Ooh. Remain calm. All is well. Except for Weird Al Yankovic, who is flat. Like this patty that we transition into. You're telling me this was all a deluded daydream? He works for some fast food joint. You know what the problem is? Nobody here appreciates a guy with a good imagination. Well, at least not the people at the lumberyard. You know, he does have a point. No one appreciates imagination. I hope you people appreciate me and my imagination by critiquing these movies. That no one else can dare touch or would dare touch. So after Weird Al Yankovic's adventure, he eats a Twinkie dog. See, now that's creative, people. You give me my cheese whiz, boy? This is clever. I actually want to have a Twinkie with a wiener and... So eventually. Don't you worry. You're a fine young man. I'm sure you'll get another job right away. Wait. You got such a good face. <laughs> look at this face. Would you look at this face? Is this he a is face such a Good lord. Such a mommy. So, where's Uncle Harvey? I haven't seen him all night. Oh, he'll be out soon. I think he's having some sort of last minute business meeting. <laughs> Okay, now, I'm going to give you a multiple choice answer. What does she mean by last minute business meeting? A, an actual meeting. B, a friendly game of poker. C, doing it with some random chick. And time's up. Here's your answer. Well, if you guessed B, congratulations, you win absolutely nothing but a poker scene. I just wanted to congratulate you, Mr. Bilchick. You did very well at the track this afternoon. Oh, yeah? What is it, the kingpin? Right, yeah, or is it right. Dr. Claw? Okay, so eventually... This is it? Wow, this is even better than I imagined! Come on, let's go check it out! Dude, what's so great about this place? The front door's open. It's a friendly place. Yeah, because when I think of a friendly place, I think of a random building in the middle of nowhere with a wide open door where anybody could go in and do just about any crazy bullshit. Yeah, that's friendly in my book. God, this movie is... <laughs> hey, mister. Thanks. You got change. Oh, um. Did somebody say change? No, 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 no. Nobody said that. that nobody. Oh, because I thought I heard somebody wanting change, Mama. Because I need change. Change. You got change. You piped it up, really. Sure. So Weird Al Yankovic gives the strange man his change. Well. Okay, that was about the weirdest trade-up I've ever seen in my life. 
Of course, then again, we are talking about Weird Al Yankovic. They wouldn't call him that for nothing. What is it? Some... Nice said. They combined a radio station with a chemistry lab. Exactly what are they trying to pull off with this stunt? Oh, come on. He's not that scary. He might be crazy and psychotic, but in no ways in hell scary. Isn't it a little late for you to be working? I mean, what time do you normally go home? This is my home. Nice. So, in other words, he's got no life. Uh, look at all the old reruns the station is airing. Weird Al Yankovic takes over as a radio personality. Uh, something like, um... You okay in there, Pam? Yes. Yeah, I was just one thing. It's and there's Fran. The nanny! Package is supposed to go to R.J. Fletcher. Who? R.J. Fletcher. He runs Channel 8. You know, the network affiliate downtown. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to send it back to him tomorrow. No! I can't believe she got this, and then, shortly thereafter, one of the greatest sitcoms of the 90s. I'll tell you, I don't really think that's such a good idea. I heard he's not the nicest guy in the world. Oh, come on. He can't be all that bad. What do you know, weirdo? You give it to those guys. You idiot! Can't you do anything I tell you to do? Yeah. You look like a number two pencil. No one just thought you thought. I don't pay you to think. But Dad, shut up. Wow. If he's hard on his own son, I can only imagine how hard he is on him at home. Son, I asked for a number two pencil, not a number three. Go to bed. Probably threw it out when he was cleaning up in here. Send in the janitor. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I will not tolerate this kind of behavior at Channel 8. The bottom of what? Not a home for irresponsible puss brains. Music's way too loud. I can barely hear what the guys say. You wanted to see me? Oh my god! You got Kramer. You dragged Kramer into this one as the janitor. Well, that role seems to fit in perfectly well. I guess you know why I called you in here. Uh, because you're lonely? No, you uh, moron. Kind of like Kramer in uh, now, Seinfeld. Carefully, do you see anything missing from this den? Again. He goes from this to one of the greatest shows of the 90s. Fran and Kramer go from this dumpster fire to two iconic shows. A pile that represented two months of intensive research. It's my guess that you threw it out. Oh, uh, no, sir. No. Uh, were you in here cleaning up last night? Uh, he does sound exactly like Kramer. Maybe that's how he got the role of Kramer. And thus, one of the greatest characters of all time. Oh, the God. All right, so after he gets his pants patooted out of him by the boss, he then goes nuts. This is ridiculous. We're 22 minutes in and nothing is going on. We're slowly but surely developing this plot. I feel like we've been here for like way too fucking long to not have a lot going on. Maybe you could come work for me. Oh, great. Yeah, that's a brilliant idea. Combine Kramer with Weirdo Yankovic. What could possibly go ro ro Roll the tape. I hope that's not Kramer as a clown, but then we got Weirdo Yankovic promoting some interesting products that he's forcing the clown to eat. I... Uh, great. Ronald McDonald wants to kick Weird Al Yankovic's ass. Oh, boy. Which transitions into this scene at the dentist. Uh, 
chapter of the American Gun Association. After this little scene at the dentist, we get to... Mortuary service. Oh, ha, 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 Plots are us. Let me guess. Because of Toys R Us. There's always plenty of free parking. And don't forget to visit our new salad bar. Plots are us. Eternal peace at affordable prices. Oh, that's just great. So, Weird Al is watching stuff, and I'm guessing he's daydreaming, because then this happens. Doing what Weird Al Yankovic does best. Parody singing! Oh, yippee. Alright, let's move on. Raul's Wild Kingdom. Oh, great. Talk about false advertisement. If you're doing this show live from your apartment, what could possibly be wild in said kingdom? All I see is a fucking parrot. This is my friend Tommy. Tommy, you know him? Wait, I'm seeing some movement inside the drawer. Would you care to show us what's inside the goddamn drawer? Oh my god, there's something in the... There's... there's... You have a fucking monkey in the goddamn drawer! Okay, maybe this is wild after all. Who the hell puts a monkey in the goddamn drawer? This is my ant farm. Your ants are amazing. They can carry four Wait a minute. He's got a monkey and two fucking ducks in a birdcage with a parrot on top of it. And an ant farm that Pee Wee would be proud of. They hate it when you do this. So why would you do that? Good fucking lord. Wayne's world would be better than this. And sadly, that wouldn't come until three years later. Movie-wise, that is. Wait a minute! He's got a fucking turkey! And some poodles. Oh no, what is he gonna do? Okay, somebody get this man for... Harassing the animals. You poor, poor animals. They should have a warning sign like, Warning, do not throw dogs out the window. They do not fly. And what exactly does this have to do with the movie in the first place? Man. You know, sometimes it takes a yeah, yeah, yeah. We're done with you and your harassing of the... Oh, man. An aardvark and a flamingo? Oh, Jesus Christ. There's lots of fun coming your way this weekend on U62. First, slam your way to health as you stay paid with Mike and Spike. Next, everybody's favorite. Oh, great. Bunch of promoting of shows that are going to be on this weird-ass channel. So, basically what I'm getting from this movie, and again, reminder, this is my first time observing this, so this is raw reaction. From what I'm getting at is that Weird Al Yankovic got fired from some burger joint, like we've seen that in movies before, and he starts his own TV show, Station. What the hell? What kind of a plot is that? Ugh. Bilichick. Not to be confused with the great Bill Belichick. Next! Weird Al Yankovic is upset. Don't want to know. What I ask? Yeah, brother. He wants to know. Is something I can do to help? 
Not unless you've got $75,000. Okay, hold the phone. What does he need 75 grand for? Let me guess. He's going to throw some elaborate scheme that's going to somehow end in disaster, yet somehow this tragedy is going to somehow get in the... Roll, roll the film again. What makes you think you were going to have $75,000 floating around this in your pocket? There must be something I could do. Oh, jeez. Yeah, because, doy, I'm a fucking TV station. And what do TV stations do? A goddamn fucking. What is this again? Telethon. What we are doing is offering this. They'll be taking your money, and they're going to be working around the clock for two days until every share is sold. What do you say, kids? Can we do it? Ah, oh, great. Kramer's going nuts. I think this is a good time for Kramer to do something about this. Boys paid our Mr. Spadowski. What happened here, Kramer? Yeah. By the way, you suck for wearing that Cubs hat. Oh, great. Kramer's gonna watch the dogs. Oh boy, and he gets kidnapped. I like peppers. I love anchovies. Because they're real fishy. Sometimes I just like to get a pizza with nothing on it but anchovies. No peppers or olives or onions. He gets kidnapped by the mob. Great! Get it? <laughs> it's fun, huh? Kramer will okay. not shut up. Something Why did you blindfold him? Or better yet, why don't you just put the handkerchief over his mouth so he doesn't yell? Oh boy. What would Kramer say in a situation like this? Uh, oh, I know. There's always next spring. Would you excuse me for a moment? Yeah, that. Moving on. <laughs> okay, you could have killed him. What? What is putting? Oh man! Please tell me this is what a weird Al Yankovic's daydream. I just saw someone chugging away in a coffee pot, and then the other one yodeling upside down. Oh boy. Gandhi. Oh great. By the way, you don't see George much of Fran in this movie. This station into something this community cares about. George Newman. So you're telling me this all is a parody of Wayne's World? Shut up. You're making us nuts. No. <laughs> That's the point, because he's Kramer. You should have killed him when you had the chance. May not be the bright as a bolt, but hey. Now what are we ripping on? What is this, Rambo? Yep, Rambo. Again, defying the laws of nature. Because a bow destroying, disintegrating the enemy makes perfect sense in this parody film. We're all going for a little ride. Yeah, great. He gets captured too. So much for that. You must have been daydreaming this whole goddamn time. You know, you really botched things up. How did he?
Oh, great. This community means about as much to me as a festering bowl of dog snot. You think I care about Ooh, the you're busted. If you took their combined well, eyes, looks like someone's ass is about to get fired. Yep. Meanwhile. Okay, Mouseketeers, come on. We can do it. Mouseketeers. Oh, wasn't that just great? I'm going to kiss you because this is how most movies end. The hero kisses the girl. Oh, boy. Where the hell did he get that much money? So while this is all going on, Weird Al sneaks out and My uncle Harvey wanted you to have this. Seventy five thousand dollars. Hey, what's going on here? I tell you what's going on, Weird Al's about to save the channel. <laughs> I love how he teases him and thinking, oh, he's job safe, and then this. There's Fred. Yeah. I'll tell you what he has to say about this. Whoops! Ooh, a little mud for you. You were the guy that gave me that 1955 double. So, of course, they saved the station and everybody lives happily ever after in. Oh, good lord. How cliche is that? All right. So, that is UHF. What do I think about this? It's the birth of parody movies. Made famous by a parody singer. And while it's not the best of movies, certainly wasn't the best in 89 when you're competing with Batman and Indiana Jones, but if you're wanting something with some humor in it and some known commodities, before they really were known commodities for the most part, this is a good movie. It's funny that this is basically a parody of Wayne's World, but Wayne's World came out after this movie from a movie perspective. But at any rate, if you like Weird Al Yankovic and you like Kramer and you like Fran, even though you don't really see much of Fran in this one, then this movie's probably for you. It's enjoyable. The plot is weird, but then again, so is Weird Al Yankovic, or else you wouldn't get that name. So I guess I would recommend it. I, I guess I could barely give it a pass. This is okay. Hell, it beats out on a scary movie three when it comes to parody movies. And God, I don't want to deal with that bullshit again. Or do I? No, I don't. Check out UHF if you haven't gotten to. I think it's a decent movie that you'll probably enjoy once and eh, maybe a few more times after that. I'm the Commander Xander. I remember until then it sounds great and I'm doing neither did you.